I thought since I'm going to do a pair of boxers, I'll just go ahead and do live. I probably won't talk too much. I need to stay focused. Um, I'm using a hardboard from Home Depot. I already pre-pressed. Um, I'm using a sub roll and I also taped an extra piece for the rice band. I use double sided tape to do that. So see it's taped right there you can see. So there you go. sure it lines up where I want to. And since you have the board, you can always slide it out some from the heat. with this side I'm gonna, I already marked the paper underneath to know um, where I'm going to press. So I'm at 380, I would say medium pressure. I'm gonna mark the other side with my pin that I know where I pressed. I hope my waistline is in. So I'm doing 380 for 45 seconds. I am going to do the front and back. These ones I believe are an extra large. slide your board don't touch your paper careful the board is hot
I am going to, um, what do you call it? Um, double press. Make sure your temperature is back what it needs to be before you press again or you're not going to get the results you're looking for. This is a 16 by 20 signature series from Heat Press Nation. So 45 seconds. Wow. Wow. I just want to double check the waistband before I take the paper off because that seems like where I have some of my light pressure issue. So be careful, it is hot. Let me just turn it around. Let's see. No. Wow. So this is what's left of my paper. I think if you pick the right background, you can't tell. So I am going to tear this paper off. I still have another sheet down that I take ahead of time. So let's go ahead and um. Backside. Wow. My little back kind of wrinkled. Got little wrinkles back here. Okay, so I'm going to try something that I've never tried before. I'm going to put double tape inside the waistband and pull my board out. And I can, um, I don't even know if it's going to stick. Pull the waistband. Try to get as flat as you can. My back kind of wrinkled up. So I'll get heat tape and I'm gonna see if that helps. My paper is moving. There we go. Try to get it as flat as I can. Sometimes if you pull one, you might pull the other. This is all experimental. Like, oh, there we go. That kind of worked right there. Put it in the little corner area. I'm trying to burning it out as much as possible. Same design. They're not going to match. So 
So um, that's where you see a difference. to go. So let's go right there. Three eighty. Forty five seconds. Get your pin. Mark it where you close that. Got 15 seconds. These are Silky Socks men's boxers. This one's an extra large. They got cotton inside. They sublimate a beautiful. Pair them up with a pair of socks. Okay, my temperature dropped some. So go ahead and push this over to where. Be careful, the board is hot. The mark is, let's see, can you see where the mark is? The mark is right here. My under my press is right here. So that's how much I'm over pressing. This is a 16 by 20 press. So now we have to wait till the temperature gets up. It, that is totally important when you are pressing to be patient wait for your press to get back to what it needs to be before you press again because then you'll get those um light spots and the uneven pressure but it really might not even be uneven pressure it's because you didn't wait for the temperature to go back what it needs to go back to So we just gotta wait to drop about five degrees or so. If you like the video, hit like, share. We're all here to learn. Oh, so up there my paper moved because I didn't tape it right, that's all. I was just too excited. It's okay, it's my son's. I'm just happy that they're coming out. That's where I always do the front first. I don't know. So this hardboard I got at Home Depot. They had to cut it. It comes like four by four, I think. It was for shirts at one time. Now I just use it for boxers. Yep. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So this is what I was talking about. So 
right here. See the different moisture? That's could be didn't get enough um, pressure. It didn't get enough heat or long enough time. So that's all a learning curve. But look at the colors. Beautiful. Until next time, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.